Hi, my name is Mae Borbert and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett Denovi and Associates. In this video, I'll be talking about types of data collection during remote consultation. This video will cover topic CA of the BACB 5th edition task list, select the measurement system to obtain representative data, which given the dimensions of behavior and the logistics of observing and recording. So the first type of data collection I'd like to talk about are uh, permanent products. Those can be your screenshots. Uh, so these will be, work best with your daily living skills. So think about a sink with dishes in it. So taking a picture of the sink full of dishes and taking a picture afterwards. And then using either the screenshot or that photo to then fill out your task analysis or your percentage of how many dishes were cleaned. The other one is your behavior checklist. These are a great idea to do on like a shared screen when perhaps there's a token board that's available. So when the caregiver is the one who's providing the instruction, the clinician can be the one that's delivering the tokens. Another one is to conduct interviews. Those could simply be on the phone or through remote consultation as well, or even sent electronically. So it could be done at the caregiver's leisure. And certain interviews can be the act matrix or even the interview informed synthesized contingency analysis. And then um, observations, which would be great for some baseline data collection. And that can be done through several platforms, such as uh, Zoom, Google Hangout, FaceTime, etc. Um, so I hope these ideas were helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at to disseminate the science. Share this video. Thank you. Bye.